We Love Hedgehogs, written and illustrated by Michael Prosper. We've been around for millions of years with our twitchy noses and our little ears. It's time for your own to learn some facts. We do not fly. We're not like bats. We're small and little, but fun you'll see. We're cute as a button, but covered in fleas. We're famous for our prickly spines. If you had to count them, it would take some time. The fur on our face, belly and legs, lets us curl up when it's time for bed. We like to eat insects, slugs and snails, lizards and mice, but no puppy dog's tails. We are nocturnal, we sleep all day. When the sun goes down, we come out to play. We hunt at night in search of prey, sniffing through leaves, twigs and hay. Our snouts are long to help us hunt. For worms and berries, just hear our grunt. We listen to and smell while foraging for food. A nice tasty snail gets me in the mood. They call us hedgehogs because we live in a hedge. The hog comes from grunting like a pig on the edge. Our noses are twitching while we are researching. Our very first name was originally urchin. We have thousands of spines upon our back. We curl up in a ball if we're under attack. Each quill in our spine lasts about a year before dropping off like a resting spear. We shouldn't drink milk, but water is fine. We wouldn't say no to a drop of apple wine. We lick ourselves if we find something smelly to warn off our trackers time to get to our belly. To some, our smell is most disappointing. To us, we just call it self-anointing. When you see a baby on its own, it's a stray. When you see them all together, we call it an array. When we forage out into the night, we can walk for two miles. Yes, you heard it. That's right. People ask if we can swim. We can, we can without a fin. We can float with our hollow quills. Too much water gives us the chills. As long as we can climb in and out, we'll float all over and round about. Some of us to prefer the dry. We don't like wet. It makes us cry. We like to hunt after the rain and watch the water go down the drain. As little creatures come out, our noses and senses help us scout. We don't take baths with soap in hand. We prefer to wash in the sand. The dust gets up into our quills, gets rid of mites that gives us thrills. If it's too cold, we'll hibernate in a hibernacular. I know this is a very fancy word to use in the vernacular. We eat as much as we can do to build up our store fat. We'll store some by our shoulders. What do you think of that? We like to sleep in a comfy place, somewhere you can't see, under sheds or in a hedge or even in a tree. We'll sleep for days and weeks and months until it gets just right. Then we'll wake up, come alive and come out when it's night. We look for a partner so that we can mate. We'll circle one another, no time to hesitate. The mother will have hoglets, maybe one or four. She could have five or six, and maybe just one more. A hoglet, when in danger, can cry like a baby. They'll snort and grunt like a pig, but nothing like a lady. We'll stay with our mother for six weeks or more. After that, we're on our own. She's shown us the front door. She teaches us to forage, how to find our food, and teaches us the do's and don'ts to put us in the mood. So another year has passed us, another year has gone. So if you see us in the wild, please let us run along. No matter the, what the weather, rain or snow or fog, just let us run alive, kind soul. Signed, your hedgehog. The end.